Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a truss rod uh, for a guitar and install it in a neck blank complete. So you'll see uh, in first principles how a truss rod is made and uh, from there you'll understand very clearly how it works. Uh, lots of little steps, but all of them are easy if you break it down. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it and we'll get started. So the truss rod we're going to make is in the style of a Gibson. I've got uh, 3 16 carbon rod and um, a nut. Um, I think Gibson uses 5 16 I have 3 8 here. It's a cap nut, so I'll have to drill it through and uh, uh, tap it. And of course, you'll need one of these for your uh, rod to put the threads on. And I will cut the groove for the rod initially with a table saw and then prepare the arc and depth of the uh, center like the to make a beautiful arc in the rod so, so it'll uh, behave the way you want it to when you tighten it I'll use a piece of uh, the same steel to, to gouge as a, as a chisel which will make a nice uh, perfectly rounded um, seat for the truss rod uh, because it's made out of a truss rod so you'll see when I get started how that works and on the uh, for the washer and the stop I use a little piece of aluminum um, to make a washer that's you know similar to that and then a little square stop that will get embedded in here uh, one of the good properties of aluminum is it's soft I think you can buy a Gibson replacement rod with a 5 16 nut and a washer with a little hook on it so it doesn't move and also the uh, steel seat which has a, a, a connection to it uh, mechanical connection so it prevents the rod from turning but I find the aluminum works really well because the burr that you put in it gets seated in it it's soft and also with the groove that you create uh, the rod has no interest in moving at least uh, in my experience with one. Uh, for those of you who aren't that familiar with the truss rod uh, just a, a little bit of explanation uh, using my arm as a, an analogous uh, structure if this is a, the guitar neck and your strings are um, pulling in this direction the truss rod is arced um, in a similar direction so that when you tighten it it pushes and pulls the the neck in the opposite direction and, and allows you to tune the relief and height uh, action and so so forth. Uh, one of my former uh, customers uh, wanted to uh, shave his neck a little bit thinner and he was working at a medical facility and I asked him, I said, could you get an x-ray of it? And then I could shave it down as close as possible. Uh, hence uh, what I'm holding in my hand, which became very useful uh, later when I wanted to shave it down. As you can see, the, the fillet of wood that goes above the rod, that's the, uh, one of the pieces I'll show you to make to, to mate it to the rod. And also the, the, a little, the residual wood on the back of the neck that you don't want to scrape too low when you're making the, uh, the neck thinner. So that's a, a pretty good example of the arc that you want to obtain in the, um, in the neck. So I've just marked out where a washer could come out of this little piece of aluminum and then also the stop. Jeweler saw. Then away we go.
Okay, the shape of your washer is pretty important um, because you are creating a vulnerable spot in the headstock at right where it joins the neck. Um, as I mentioned, Gibson I think uses 5 16 which is uh, preferred to what I'm showing you, which is 3 8 Anyway, we've got the threads carved uh, nicely, the nut uh, drilled through and, and tapped, and we've got enough thread. So I'm going to back it off to my final length, which will be about there, and I'm going to just trim the end. Well, we've got the front end of our rod done, and now we'll do the tail end, and here's a good time to measure three times and, and cut once. So we have the location where the nut will go, which is there the nut is here in that neighborhood. And the body joint here will be at the 14th fret. So there, and we've got a three-quarter inch dovetail, which is about that big. So we'll put our anchor in right about there. My Sorry. line for the saw cut is in the center. Um, the rod itself is more than one saw blade, so you've got a chance to hone your first cut, and with any luck your first cut is one side of the trough. So um, with the tolerance adjusted at the edge, I've got room for my nut, uh, the connection to the uh, guitar body, and uh, dovetail. So I want to be certainly in the heel uh, or further that way, but uh, I think we'll be in this neighborhood. So. so the next bit is creating the burr. Finished. Okay, time to cut the uh, slot. Our rod is finished. We'll install it roughly there. 